standalone headsets like the Oculus Quest 2 are great, but connecting it to a computer opens it up to the world of high quality PC VR. Apple are not known for their VR support. Currently, Steam is the only platform that works with macOS, though the Mac-based Steam content is limited. Valve also announced last year that Steam would no longer be developed for the Mac platform. Running VR on Windows via Bootcamp is still therefore the best option with a Mac. This currently only works with Intel Macs and not the new Apple Silicon machines. In this video I'll go through setting up Bootcamp and the Oculus app with Mac drivers. If you have an Oculus Quest or Quest 2, you can then access the entire Rift library. You can also access the whole Steam library through Oculus. I'll test performance on a few machines and then optimize the resolution. I'm attempting to run the Oculus client on three Macs, the 2020 iMac with a Radeon 5700 XT graphics card, the 2017 iMac with 980 graphics, and a 2017 MacBook Pro with 960 graphics. From the Utilities folder in Applications, load up the Bootcamp Assistant. After it's done its thing, it will present you with a window allowing you to set the Mac and Windows partition size. Oculus will require at least 10 gigabytes, though you can store any apps and games that you download to any PC formatted drive if you wish. You'll also need a copy of Windows. You can get this for free from the Microsoft website. It's officially a trial, though it works fine and never runs out. Navigate back to the Bootcamp Assistant and choose the ISO file that you've just downloaded. Bootcamp will then do its thing, reboot a couple of times and then open you up in Windows. When starting up on a Mac, hold down the Option key to choose between the two operating systems. With the computer booted in Windows, go to oculus.com forward slash setup and download the software. Oculus will likely not yet recognize the graphics card, so you'll need to download the latest bootcamp drivers. Go to the AMD driver support page. From the graphics list, you'll see a whole selection of Radeon graphics cards. Ignore all these and scroll down to Mac graphics and choose Apple Bootcamp. Choose your machine and click download and install. Oculus should now start up. Connect the Quest to the Mac with an Oculus Link cable. Although Oculus recognizes the graphics card, you'll still get a message telling you that the computer doesn't meet the minimum specifications. This is not necessarily true and seems more about Oculus getting confused over the fact that you're on a Mac. Navigate to the Devices tab and then to the Graphics Preferences tab where you can adjust the refresh rate and the resolution. To change the refresh rate from 72Hz, you'll need to be using a USB 3 link cable. Things still work with a USB 2 cable, but you can't change to 90Hz. If your graphics card can handle it, you can increase the resolution to almost 6K. This makes a noticeable difference in quality in the Oculus Home and some apps. You can also tweak the settings in the Oculus Debug tool found in the Support folder of the Oculus installation. These are the recommended Oculus settings as of February 2020. Putting the resolution above 2784 used to stop Oculus Link working, though I tried a variety of resolutions recently and this doesn't seem to be the case anymore. I couldn't see much difference though and I suspect that the resolution control in the graphics preferences now overrides this. If you're running Steam, you'll have to make sure that the resolution is set to auto in the graphics settings within the headset or it won't work. My 2020 iMac with the Radeon 5700 XT graphics card set to 90Hz and the highest resolution setting has so far handled everything I've thrown at it perfectly. Half-Life Alex running on Steam can be pretty graphics intensive, though this plays perfectly even on the highest performance settings. I've used VR on my 2017 iMac with a Radeon 980 graphics card. This is pretty much the lower end of PC VR graphics performance. 
It runs a lot of VR pretty well, especially the early stuff, though struggled with Half-Life Alex, which was barely playable even on the lowest settings. The last machine I set up was a 2017 MacBook Pro with a Radeon 960 graphics card. I didn't expect this to work at all, though Oculus recognized the graphics card and installed fine. It runs basic PC VR with a few glitches, but really struggles with anything graphics intensive. The transition to Apple Silicon is likely to be the end of VR on a Mac for the time being, unless Oculus or Steam support the integrated graphics of the new Macs, or maybe even release a macOS version at some point. Apple have been rumoured to have some kind of headset in the making, though unless this can access the Oculus and Steam libraries, the content is likely to be a bit limited. If you have an Intel Mac from 2017 onwards, there's a good chance it will run at least some VR. If you own a Quest, you can then access the whole of the Oculus Rift library. If you want to use a Mac and have high quality VR on the same machine, then I would highly recommend the 2020 iMac with an upgraded graphics card. Let me know in the comments what you think of VR on the Mac platform and its future, if any. And if you're interested in 360 video editing on the Mac, check out my other video on this. And if you found this useful, please give us a like and subscribe. Thank you.